So we have a couple, a few hours to kill before we head to the airport. And Anna found this spot um, on YouTube. We're checking it out. You guys saw the, um, what's it called? The pig? The roasting pig. Roasting pig. It's, this is a very famous food in the Latin culture, the roasted pig. So I found a place, they're everywhere, but I found a place that's really good reviews. So. so we're gonna try it and see if we like it. It's really nice. Thank you. I can bring you a little bit of pork with the rice. Pork, the rice. The rice and a morcilla. The sausage, no? Yes. Aha, a little bit of morcilla. Just you bring it. Okay, a little bit of everything. And can we get a drink? Yeah, the just a minute is happy for you. Uh, you want to drink? It's a passion fruit, uh, pink grapefruit, orange. So I, I bring you the juice. Yeah, yeah. Apple, okay? okay. Yeah. You, you order the rice. Whatever you bring, you will eat. Sounds good. We'll eat whatever he puts on our plate. Got a little bit of food for both of you. Okay. And we'll Two plates. Yay. Two years. No alcohol. Uh, breadfruit. Pasteles. Okay. It's like a tamale. Real good. And the rice. But it's done with corn. It's made with root vegetables. Real good. Okay. Thank okay. You. And you got meat in the inside, right? Okay. Thank you. Here's what's for lunch. That's a tamale, mm -hmm. and the guy said it's made out of a root, root, not corn. It's normally made out of corn. Yeah, the wrap, the casing is for corn. Mm. Masa. Gotcha. What do you think, Anna? So good. I know the whole time we're eating, and Anna just keeps saying this is so amazing. I love Latin food culture in general, but what yeah. do you think food is? Yeah. Would you say this is the best food we've had here so far? It's up there. Hey, everything okay, girls? Oh, so good. Can we get more napkins? Yeah, sure. Thank the pastel you. is good. Oh, it's all awesome. Huh? I don't. I don't have a favorite. It's all good. All right. This is dessert, vanilla custard. Have you ever had vanilla custard? Well, yeah. There's yeah. a bite taken out of the uh. thing right there. <laughs> but I mean before this. Mm. It's like a fluffy cheesecake. It is, yeah. It's like a cheesecake. It's good. It's like those um, caramel candies, you know? Mm-hmm. Doesn't it taste like that? Yeah, it's good. Tastes good. So this little place, it's like on a ranch somewhere or something because I feel like I'm eating food in someone's backyard. It's really good, but look over here, there's like, it's literally a random location and there's a construction truck thing. Well, we and it's just a little picnic through, table. Uh, like a forest to get here. Like country, yeah. Country, uphill, downhill. And that guy's really road. sweet. He's been serving us. We're just laughing. <laughs> So we made a last pit stop here at a coffee shop. Here's the cute little mocha Anna got. We, oh, my finger. We are gonna end the vlog here because we're heading to the airport in about an hour, in about an hour and going home. This was an awesome vacation. Did you have a good time? Amazing time. Yes. It was so much fun. I think great. we should end the vlog with um, sharing some things that we learned or were surprised about Puerto Rico. I have a few. Do you want to do that? Go. Okay. The first thing I would say is that you can cross the entire island in about three hours. False. 
Four Ooh. hours. Four hours. Okay. Pretty short. What's one of yours? Um. Definitely visit Culebra. If you come to Puerto Rico and you don't visit Culebra. Wait, this is what you're surprised what? by or what you learned. I mean, I guess. What did I learn? Oh, um. But yeah, Culebra is one of the best places. That's why we went there twice. That wear sunscreen. Yes. <laughs> so we were good the whole time, and we made the mistake the last we got day coffee yesterday. The last day did not put it on, and now we are all burnt. Yeah. Okay. Another thing is that everyone runs red lights here, and it's apparently like a normal thing if no one is in your way and the. No one's going the opposite direction. You're just going to run a red light. But Olga wouldn't let me do that because Olga's a rule follower. Yes. And another thing is that the cops here just drive with their lights on and it doesn't really mean anything. They're not pulling anyone over. The cops don't really pull anyone over here. And the whole time we were here, they like pulled one person over, right? Well, we didn't even see them pull them over. He was already pulled over, but apparently um, it's, they say that if they turn their sound on, then oh. they're pulling you over. But the I lights don't, don't mean anything because I had a cop behind me with lights for a while and I didn't pull over. Yeah. Um, oh, another thing is if they, if the Puerto Ricans um, pass like an exit or, or an entrance that they need to go on, they're literally just going to back their car up and like go into their entrance. What yeah, else? there is no pulling UEs going all the way around to come to the exit that you miss. They just dead stop and go. Eh. Yep. So, yeah. All right. What else? Anything else? It's just more, you know, my style of driving here than her style of driving. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching our um, Puerto Rico travel vlogs. Hope you enjoy them and ta ta for now. <laughs> Adios, amigos.